I'll show you how to use the pixelate and posterize filters found in Affinity Photo. These two filters work well in combination to create retro effects. Here's a quick example. I've got a 3D render I've been working on. And first, I'll go to Layer, Merge Visible to create a merged pixel layer of all the layer work so far. This is so I can apply the pixelate filter by going to Filters, Distort, Pixelate. As I drag the quantization slider up, it will gradually decimate the image into fewer distinct pixels. I only need a small value to achieve the effect I'm after, however. 12 should suffice. I'll click Apply. Then I'll add a posterize adjustment by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Posterize. Whereas Pixelate reduces the number of pixels, Posterize reduces the number of distinct colors. Moving the slider to the right gradually increases the number of colors. I don't want to decimate the color detail too much, but I do want a hint of banding to communicate that retro look. A value of 14 should work here. I can then close the dialog. The posterize adjustment is non-destructive, so I can always click on the thumbnail to reopen the dialog and adjust the slider again, if required. On another example, I'll demonstrate taking this a step further with some gradient mapping. I'll first create a merged pixel layer. Then I'll run the pixelate filter and I'll go for some more aggressive pixelization this time. Then I'll add a posterize adjustment and set the levels to 24. Now I'll add a gradient map adjustment. This lets me remap the shadows, midtones, and highlights to specific colors, and the intermediate colors are then interpolated. I'll map the shadows to a dark blue the midtones to red, and the highlights to a yellow. I can now experiment with the blending options to configure this effect further. For example, I could cycle through the blend modes for an interesting variety of effects that suit the retro vibe. Having settled on one, I could then lower the opacity of the layer as well to reduce its contribution. But again, all of this alteration is non-destructive. I could hide the pixel layer to see what the result looks like without the pixelation, for example. Or click on the posterize thumbnail and experiment with the levels slider. And that was a short video on using the pixelate and posterize filters creatively. Thank you for watching.